Well, I'm back. Uh, yesterday was so much fun that I had to get another box of these. Had to get a hobby box. Guaranteed one autograph per box. And they had the jumbos there, but that was pretty pricey. I'm all about saving money and trying to uh, get the most value out of the cards. I'm not a rich man, so I'm just just hoping to get a good deal. And this box at the card shop, went to the card shop. I think it's important that you go to your local card shop and support them. It was a little bit more money than I would spend online to get one. It was about 140 bucks. And you can get them online right now for 100 and, uh, what, 128 99 something like that. So it was a little more expensive. And they also had the jumbos, which were like $340 or something crazy that's outside of my price range right now. But I'll get a, I'll get a jumbo online, and I want to compare what the best value is. I think that would be a good uh, little series to run here because there's probably a lot of people like me that just want to get the best deal possible with your cards. So let's compare. I bought 10 boxes of the retail, the blaster boxes. I got a great deal. Uh, Target has a, a special right now where if you spend $100, you get $25 off on cards or toys. So I got, it ended up being about $15 a box out the door with tax and everything for the little blaster boxes. I got 10 of them. So that's 60 packs and I want to do a quick review of what I got and we'll compare it to what I get out of this hobby box and then when I get a jumbo we'll compare all three. It's a small sample size but we'll just kind of see uh, the differences in inserts and parallels and autographs and um, base cards and chrome cards, all, all the stuff that you would get and see what's the best deal. Uh, let's use, let, We'll do these last because those are the good ones. So I've learned a little bit since yesterday I had no idea that this number here was the, the rank of the prospect. That helps a lot because it's so hard keeping track of these prospects. Like I said in the last video, I'm new getting back into the hobby after like 20 years and I'm having a blast. Yesterday was so much fun. That's why I got this box. This is a blast. And if you guys, anybody who watches this, if you could comment below any helpful information about any of these cards or any of the players to look out for, uh, any information is so valuable. Just the few people that commented yesterday, I got good insight from. Uh, the one guy was like, you know, the one Car John Carlos Stanton card that you got excited about is a common card. You're looking for the prospects. It's like, thanks, man. I know I'm looking for the prospects. I appreciate the comment. But I'm... I'm at that point in the in the collecting phase where I just get excited about everything. So let's look at these. All right, so number thirty. These are just some of the some of the cats that I picked up. Number sixty-two, seventy-five. Now we're getting there. Anytime a Yankees prospect comes out, I'm interested. Here's a top twenty-five, Ian Anderson. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, nice, Alex Krilloff, number 13. Got to keep an eye out for that guy. So I also did a little bit of searching online to figure out what the top prospects are right now. Made myself a little cheat sheet, top 20. And that dude, he's ranked 13 on here. But on the big board, the brand new one, I just went to MLB.com talent pipeline, prospect pipeline, and this Alex Krilloff is ranked number eight right now. He's an outfielder, so I'm, I'm digging that one. If they're outside, like, the top 25, I don't even, I can't keep track, so just try to keep track of the top 20. Okay, Kaibar Ruiz, number 24 on this, but do we see on here? No, nope, he's not in the top 20. So, yeah, he's probably right around there. But I'm going to keep an eye on him for sure. Joe Adele. 
This guy is up there. He's number 13 right now. It says nine here. Taylor Trammell has moved up a little bit. He's number 15 now. He was 26 on here. And Royce Lewis. I didn't see him on the top 20 currently. He must have dropped big time. No, 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 no. Sorry. He's number four. Number four. Okay, he moved up. And my boy, big old Tatis. Love Tatis. Matt Manning, Tiger, he's you know, local guy. When I say local guy, he's a Tiger. So anybody who's a Tiger, I'm interested in. And Perez. And another Yankee. So those are just some of the top 100 inserts. Rookie of the Year favorites. We've got these guys. Kyle Tucker, Kyle Wright, those, those guys I recognize. Shaw. The Talent Pipeline. One, two, three, four, five of those. So out of 10 boxes, one every other box. The Astros, Cubs, Corbin Burns. He's pitching today. Hopefully he does good. I've got him in my DFS lineup. And there's some probably some beauties in here. He's already up playing every day. Yeah, I've noticed that the combination of collecting cards and the DFS aspect, daily fantasy sports for anybody who doesn't know, and the fan the regular fantasy season long league, all three work together to where you can learn about players that you might not have known so much about. And then the ready for the show guys, two of those. Nobody great that I, I maybe they are, but but da, 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 another Tatis. How about two of them? So out of ten boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. Didn't count these. Let's go back to that. One, two, three. Fifteen. So you're getting about one and a half per box. And these inserts got a Tatis. They're growing on me. I didn't like them at first, but they're definitely growing on me. Gliber. Oh yeah, one, two, seven of them. Now the good stuff. Now the good stuff. I, feels like I got a lot of good numbered cards here, but what do I know? Seth Beer, numbered to 150, the blue, the blue parallel. I like that one, the chrome. Joey Wentz. What's that one? guys. Oh, Refractor. Okay, number to 499. So DJ Peters. That's another numbered one. To 499, the Refractor. Daniel Johnson. Number to 99. I love these. These are sweet. I think that's the speckle to 299. Look how sharp that is. I'd love to get one of the top guys. And two autographs. Jing Yu Chang. Of course, they're sticker autos. Keep that in mind. But the parallel numbered to 99. Yadier Alvarez. Number to 150. Sticker auto, blue parallel though. This one's pretty sweet. These are rare. I think it was like one out of 800 packs or something. Number to 99, the Orioles talent pipeline. DL Hall, Ryan Montcastle, and DJ Stewart. I like that one. That's a good one. 
this one, Nate Pearson, the gold parallel numbered to 50, the top 100. That's a sweet one. But this one, I guess, uh, Nick Senzel. Yeah, he's the number five currently overall prospect. The, I think this is the Atomic, someone said. Number to 150. It's a pretty sweet card. I like that a lot. And Chris Shaw, these are the paper parallels. Chris Shaw to 499. Brewer Hicklin to 499. But hey, William Contreras to 99, the green. So out of 10 boxes, Eleven numbered parallels, two autographs. That seems awesome to me. I mean, they're fifteen bucks. You can't go wrong. So let let the games begin. Let's see what we get out of this hobby box. I'm super excited. Super super excited. I can barely hold back. Oh, I got the itch. I definitely have. The baseball card pack open itch oh yeah got the vlad i know it's just a base chrome but that's my first vlad card i'm officially a vladimir guerrero jr collector and some other local dudes local casey mize tatis jimenez got a lot of trouts and good base cards Like Christmas morning takes me back. The nostalgia is great with opening cards. <clears throat> I remember it being Christmas morning and just want a box of cards so bad. So, so bad. And I finally would get one. It'd be, oh, I didn't care about any of the other gifts. set up like it like it's in the card shop how great how great that's what they look like now I know who I'm looking for at least a little bit let's see how these are configured set the rookies in a separate pile Right off the back, got a talent pipeline card with the Nick Senzel. Sweet, okay. Logan Webb. Is Logan Webb anything good? Okay, we're looking for one autograph. I know I'm going to get one autograph out of this. Where's it gonna be? Kyle Tucker. Oh, that's nice. I don't think I, I don't think I got that one out of the last. Maybe I did. Oh, there's a purple in there. Haven't gotten a purple yet. What's it gonna be? Top down? Oh, it's a Yankee. That's good. Albert Abreu, number to 250. It's not a chrome, though. Love those numbered cards, though. That's pretty it's purple. It's pretty hot. Okay. 
I want to get a Vlad. I want, oh yeah, I didn't get any Wander Francos out of that, out of all those 10 boxes before. Uh, that would be nice. I mean, that's, I guess, the guy that everybody wants. Oh yeah, so I, let's see, some of the top cards going on eBay, I looked up. The Joey Bart, and these are ones that actually sold, okay? The Joey Bart Orange Refractor, numbered to 25, already sold for, it was a best offer taken. So it had $39.99 on it, and but it, it got a best offer taken. So somewhere between $2,600 and you know, $3,900 essentially for the numbered to 25 orange refractor. And the Wander Franco purple refractor auto. Oh yeah, the other one was the auto. Out of 250 went for like 1500 bucks. And the chrome base was like 700 auto. So those are just the immediate prices. There's some other ones too. Another talent pipeline. So I wonder if these are a little more common than I thought. The Rays. There's got to be some good, good young players on the Rays. Sad beer over and over again. That's not. I'm fine with that. D. L. Hall. Is that one of the good dudes? Shiny in here. Okay. A little something, something. Mackenzie Gore. Jazz. Chis. Chisholm. Jazz Chisholm. Hmm. Don't recognize him. He's got an interesting name, though. There's a tiger. And a Vlad. Sweet. So now I've got the base and the chrome. Wow, that makes me happy. I know they're just the regular cards, but I'm super stoked to get two Vlads. Okay, the Vlad collection begins begins here. Oops, sorry about that. All right, let's keep this party. Roman. I don't know how much of this I can record before it just dies on me. I might have to make this a two-part series. I'll probably go after this pack and then start again. Part two. What do we have? Something? Anything in there? Oh, I see something. When are we going to get that auto? Something shiny and fancy. I know what it is, though. It's one of those inserts. Let's throw back. Maybe it'd be someone sweet. Hakuna? Oh no, okay. No. Okay, I'm going to call this good at 20 minutes, part two, coming up next.